were even better than Divas of Macon. That's the third time that whack ass do it. Flexed ass feet, terrible ass turns. They didn't do but they win this. Ain't no way in hell they were better than them today. I quit. And don't nobody ask me. Don't call me. And y'all get y'all as I walk away from this competition, I've learned that regardless of how well you put out the best product possible, sometimes there's going to always be somebody that's going to find a flaw. But it is what it is. Moving on into the next week, the girls have got to strap up their boots and let's go. But this isn't over. We will see making again. And I'm definitely going to make sure that the dancing dolls settle the score. <laughs> going to set me off. Uh, she mad because that bitch scared. She's scared as hell right now. Because, you know, Tyree gonna eat that ass up. What are you talking about? All season long, I have allowed coaches to say things. I have let it ride. I've had people put their hands in my face. I have had enough. I'm not gonna be nobody's bitch. I ain't gonna be nobody's punk. I ain't no punk ass bitch. Everywhere I go, somebody in my face. Go get information and stand on the floor. You okay? Good, go. Y'all gotta have it. I didn't ask for it. As I'm watching Coach D, I'm thinking, not right now. Not right now. We've worked so hard. This has been built up and it's been coming. Long time coming. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. At this time, we call the dancing dolls to the floor for the finals of our stand battle. Dancing dolls. I'm not hurt. I'm not scared. I'm pissed. But three people got up. So if you know you can do it, why not? I applaud Cassie for trying. I applaud Kiana for trying. And some of y'all sit up and you whispering, you talking about it, but you didn't get up here. And I don't care about winning. I don't care. The heart and the passion is lost amongst some of y'all. And mine is leaving. If these girls are going to be playing around, then why am I even here? I am tired of being the only one around this damn studio that cares. It makes me reevaluate continuing on with this doggone team. You're not taking it serious, and I am. I have had it. So f it. I quit. I quit. Do this f yourself. Oh my gosh. Coach D just walked out on us like, I don't know what we're going to do. But my damn kids. This isn't good. Excuse me, y'all. It didn't stop with the throwing the shade at Princess. No, it didn't stop there. You also seem to question my authority and my ability to even run my team. Miss Diana done lost her bleep bleep mind. What the hell does she think she doing? Miss Diana got me up, and that's all my kids. It just, I just, just, it, I just, I have no words. Even Christiana, who has been with me forever, questioned my decision to put Princess out front to lead. And then you. What you said in the group was not only mind-blowing for me, because I've never known you to even talk like that. I was, I was like, Micaiah? This whole situation made me feel like these kids have no respect for me. You don't respect what I do. You don't respect the time that I give up for my own child. You don't respect the time I give up for my family. Do y'all even care how I feel? Do you think that I'm just this cold, cold-blooded person with no feelings? When I come to practice, I give you all of me. I don't cut corners. I give you everything I got. But you sick of this bitch. You tired of this team. To me, it's like, you, Diana. Screw everything that you have done. Screw everything that you have given up. Screw you as a coach. Screw this team. Screw it all. That's basically what you're telling me. You don't love me. You don't appreciate me. You don't respect me. You don't say thank you, Miss Diana. You don't. I don't do things for my son. For y'all. I don't want you to be here if that is how you feel. Hi, ladies. So one of my parents is very ill, and 
for me having to watch my kids go through that is heartbreaking because I can't fix it. And I'm making a conscious decision to take them and go. But we just, I need to get my face together before the kids look at me. We don't care about who wins. There's no grudge to hold because right now the focus is on her. <laughs> very worried about Selena right now. Everybody take a deep breath. Everybody take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Life is so uncertain and not knowing what's going to happen with her. All I know to do is to pray and to get everyone in the room to pray with me for her. Because when you're praying together, Something beautiful is going to come out of that. Hey, bow, hey, bow. Lord, we ask that you touch Selena right now. Whatever is going on inside of her body, Lord, Lord, we ask that you take it away. Lord, bring her back. Whatever is going on right now with her, Lord, please bring her back. Everybody, hands in the air, touch and agree. Amen.